and good morning YouTube I had been using this remote with my newest Raspberry Pi for Cody initially thought I could use this if the TV itself supported the HDMI CEC interface this is a Westinghouse 17 inch LCD TV Unfortunately, that TV does not seem to support that feature, which is what lets the remote control codes pass over the HDMI bus to the Raspberry Pi plugged in running Kodi. So the next step was I thought I would program a FLIRC infrared remote receiver for this remote, get the arrow keys and the uh, basic function keys that worked except the thing I ran into is that this TV even when you switch to HDMI mode which is down here there's TV HDMI the TV is still decoding these remote control keys and trying to do things with them I think I used this one as the menu button on Kodi but that menu button also brings up the menu on the TV screen so you got into conflicts where you would get into uh, setup modes on the TV while you were trying to operate Kodi so I scrapped the idea of using this remote and instead I thought I would use this old remote this is an old Pinnacle Systems remote from a TV capture card or a May, it might have been a USB capture device. So let me turn this around just so we can see it a little better. thought I would try to uh, recycle this old remote. And that's compared to a, uh, here's a media center type of remote. Pretty similar, so I could go out and buy another one of these. But I have this and I thought I would try to make it work but this remote has a couple extra buttons here and then it's got these extra four buttons at the bottom which I should be able to get working with some of the Kodi keyboard commands so let's take a look at that yeah in the past I've looked at this uh, FLIRC infrared controller the setup program and uh, my first step was to I uh, use this Kodi keyboard and it's got the number keys, your arrow keys, you know, basic navigation, some of the things running on a Raspberry Pi, it's always full screen, so you don't really need a full screen button. And then some of these don't seem to uh work. Some do, like the info key does. The power key on a Raspberry Pi doesn't seem to do anything. So one thing I did look at was they have a full keyboard controller where you have access to the actual key presses. And if we take a look here, this is the Kodi Keyboard Controls web page. I'll put a link to this in the video description. But this gives you a full list of all the menus so there's the C for context menu I for info there's one down here that was kind of interesting yeah one here is the shutdown menu which is uh, the S key so I might try using the S key for the power button that'll at least pop up the power menu since the power down function doesn't seem to work from the uh, FLIRC menu. Interesting is this live TV TV guide button which the remote I have has an EPG button so I might try programming that to the letter E. What I want to try to do is basically use up all the keys on this remote and make them all do something. So the idea is you use the, the Kodi controller as they call it program all your basic functions with Kodi and then you go to the full keyboard 
and then pick up these other ones like the C key, the I key, and I think the what was the program guide was uh, E. So I'll show you how to do that here.